Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? So for Pisces, let's get into this. Spirit, angels, guides. What does Pisces need to know about this person that they are thinking about connecting with? What does Pisces need to know? About this person they're thinking about or connecting with what do we need to know about their energies thoughts intentions we'll also be looking at your person's intentions next actions towards you towards the connection so tell me about pisces and the person they are thinking about connecting with what is this person's thoughts feelings energies when it comes to pisces or this connection okay let's see like pick up the deck would be great king of cups okay wheel of fortune beautiful and the ten of pentacles whole k all right pisces <laughs> uh well i will end this reading here no i'm just kidding <laughs> this is great energy of course let me not get ahead of myself as i typically do when i see energies like this let me just not jump into conclusions but i feel like there's someone here who uh for the pisces that i'm reading for they really care about you and are looking for or see at least a future with you a long-term stable future with you bottom of the deck death scorpio energy changes endings transformations an ending that brings about a beginning so let's see what else we can find out here you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio Let me get some insight into this person's energy. It's the person that Pisces is at. What will be dealing with spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Pisces? Or this connection? Tell me about towards Pisces, towards this connection. Loyal, faithful, and dependable, grounded, balanced, and rational. Oh, what the heck? This is an awesome reading victory lap can i get one more sorry pisces i just get suspicious i just get suspicious but it's this looks good so far this looks good what else what else we talk about? standing firm defense resistance courage you are standing firm against any challenge victory lap okay so if there is some sort of um challenge or obstacle this is someone very grounded very rational focused fire sign showed up as well aries leo sagittarius they could have fire in their chart so let's get let's break this down because i feel like so far this looks great this is someone that really cares about you this is someone that well the wheel is here for a reason so something either needs to change events are taking place momentum's happening oh my god there's the sun and the Ten of Pentacles definitely goes along with this grounded, balanced, and rational energy. Something very stable, very secure. The world. <laughs> what is happening, Pisces? This looks great. Okay, so let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? Well, can you tell me, Spirit? Oh my God, there's the Wheel of Fortune that wanted to come out again. Okay, what happened with the King of Cups here? What's going on with this King of Cups? What do we need to know about this King of Cups? The Knight of Cups. I mean, what in the world? I feel like I can just end this right now. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups. Okay, so this person is turning something around, I feel. Eight of Pentacles is here. Effort, focus. I did pick up that someone was very focused. But I think this is driven out, or this focus, this rational energy this caring caring and compassionate energy that I feel is because this person probably made a mistake somewhere along the line and they cannot make a mistake again. Let's see what this Wheel of Fortune is about. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Spirit, what can you tell me about this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? The Emperor, Aries energy. Oh yeah, this is definitely someone 
Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely someone taking matters into their own hands. They will make use of this wheel. Five of Pentacles at the bottom. Can I get one more for the wheel? Why is the wheel here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, Four of Wands, stability, harmony. There, this is someone very focused, Pisces. This is someone that um, they're taking charge of a situation. They're balancing a situation out. They're gonna fix something, I feel. Tell me about the Emperor. The Emperor loves the Four of Wands because the Emperor loves structure, loves order. Tell me about the Emperor. The moon, Pisces, there you are. This concerns you. And then there's death again at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Cups came out, Scorpio energy. I feel like I'm speaking to a Pisces where perhaps there was already an ending that has happened between you and this person or one of you is having some sort of change in your life or is undergoing some sort of change or transformation. This is tied to love or a partnership. Knight of Swords is here behind that judgment. I mean, come on. This is definitely somebody that there's, the truth is very important. Clarity, a sudden realization perhaps has happened. Tell me about the emperor. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have the high priestess and the six of swords. So this emperor is making a move. Yeah, eight of wands. Maybe they're coming over to talk to you. Maybe things need to be said that have not been said. High Priest is the moon. These are usually secrets or things that have been kept hidden. Okay. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. It's a big leap. Five of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and Four of Cups. So, okay, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. I think your person is coming in to, how do I say this? They're coming towards you with offers. However, I think they're worried you will not accept. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. The High Priestess is here. Almost like they're not sure what's going to happen after, after they show up. But the goal is clear. Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune down here. Tell me more for Pisces. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This is what someone's actively working on to make a change in your connection let's get a little bit more insight about this person tell me more about this person that pisces is has or will be dealing with but tell me more about this person that pisces connecting with or thinking about what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this person i see you in my dreams what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this person i wasn't ready i made a mistake at the bottom of the deck okay so yes i feel like um this could be somebody that you already know pisces well obviously you know them because this is how they feel about you but i feel like there was already a history here between you and this person and i think they're coming towards you with an a goal um what else do we need to know? Privileged lady. That's not nine of pentacles. I think you are this nine of pentacles. Someone with value. Someone with uh, a lot to offer. Coffin and pathway. Okay. So I'm getting a story here. Yeah. I feel like this person, things ended between you and this person. Or something was just not right between you and this person. And your person, they have very big goals when it comes to you a lot of feelings here when it comes to you very loyal to you despite whatever has happened and i think remorseful this knight of cups this person's hoping for a change 
What are their intentions, next actions going to be towards Pisces? What are their intentions, next actions going to be towards Pisces spirit? What are their intentions, next actions going to be towards Pisces? The sun reverse, judgment reverse, knight of swords, the magician. Okay. Bottom of the deck, five of wands, the world. Okay, they're anticipating a battle. That's why standing firm is here. They know they're going to have to fight for this new beginning. They're going to have to fight for this new beginning with a queen of swords, which I feel like maybe you are a queen of swords right now. Hard to approach. Only care about the truth and nothing but the truth. Not very easy to BS the queen of swords. And there's the hangman. Yeah. This person, that's why they're so <laughs> focused. Because they're going into battle. Now, the Sun Reverse, the Judgment card Reverse. I want to know what this is about before I tell you what I'm picking up here. Tell me about the Sun Reverse. This is reminding me of the Moon and the High Priestess. Tell me about the Sun Reverse. Why is the Sun Reverse? The Devil and the Page of Wands. Capricorn energy with the devil. Tell me about judgment reverse. Why is judgment reverse? The two of cups and this eight of wands. There's the world again. Yeah, this person made a mistake somewhere in somewhere in your connection in the history that you have with this person. This person feels they made a mistake. They weren't ready perhaps for what they had. They want to talk about this knight of swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? But I feel like, yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel like this is going to be a battle. Like um, they're maybe expecting an argument or expecting the worst. Yeah, I need to be strong, <laughs> brave, strength, Leo energy. So tell me about the Magician. But this is with a goal in mind. They're trying to make something happen here with the Magician. Tell me about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Yep. The Magician. Clarify with the Magician and the Empress. The Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Very clear energy. Um, really, there's only one way to interpret this. They're going to get their Empress. They are going to have growth, abundance. They will be successful. This victory is theirs, etc., etc. They will have a new beginning. Let me grab a seller soulmate. Can I get one more um, energy for this person that Pisces is thinking about or connecting with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? You are the only person for me words can express how much i care for you yeah i am picking that up what's this i pretend that everything is okay but inside i'm hurting yeah so this king of cups i feel is your person um you are the goal you are the victory triumph trophy you are the trophy and this person i feel like they're trying to make up for something they're expecting that you're not going to be interested um they picture your, your rejection. <laughs> uh, that, however, it's like they're not giving up, despite the fact that you know they know that success will have to be fought for. Uh, this is definitely somebody that's willing to do it to make it happen. Very determined individual. You could be dealing with an Aries, um, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Someone with fire in their chart. If they don't have fire in their chart, they're acting like a fire sign. So it's almost like I'm going to make this happen. I am going to, I see the goal. I'm going to make it happen. And they're going to talk to you. You can expect them to show up because they're going to talk to you. Now, I don't know what this devil energy is over here, but I almost feel like they screwed up because maybe they weren't thinking right or acting right. Um, so that's what I have for you Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading looking into your person like the video if you enjoyed this reading subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.